not really a video today that I had envisioned making ever. Let's go meet up with Mike Collier, our real estate advisor. You win some and you lose some. Today's the story on how I lost my house in quite literally the final stage you could ever lose a house. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everyone. Today is not, not a happy one. Real quick, if you wanna get caught up on speed, down below is gonna be the video on where I announced I had bought a house because I did buy a house. And um, yeah, go watch that one so you guys get caught up to speed. All right, can I get a, um, we'll do a French vanilla. Macchiato? Uh, just a cold brew. I really want to tell you guys how this could happen. We kind of expected this could be a possibility and an outcome, but really didn't think this was going to be the outcome at all. So today I'm going to show you the house that I had an accepted offer on and was in the final stage. I'm just here waiting for Mike. We're in a beautiful neighborhood here. Just kind of want to get you guys caught up and I'm always early to uh, things that I have to show up to. But yeah, not really great. I will tell you guys one thing too. I, um, you know, I had a house. I obviously, I was gonna buy a house, literally in the, the appraisal stage. And um, I was gonna get a dog too. I was probably gonna get a dog. Um, stings, really does sting that we're back to square one here. Yeah, I could really use you guys' support right now. It just happened um, a couple days ago, and um, I should be here any any second where we kind of just want to talk and explain what really what really happened. You know, it's the it's the process of real estate. This can happen, and uh, really didn't expect it, but here we are. No skateboarding on rails or benches. Do people really do that? It's beautiful, beautiful gazebo. And there's also like this like park with trees. You don't see this often here in Florida. Like, look at this. It's pretty. Just like the house that I was gonna purchase. Wait till you guys see this bad boy. I will say during this process though, um, if it was meant to be, it was gonna be meant to be. Meaning I wasn't going to push this whole process and um, I thought we had it guys, I really did. But it turns out God has something better in store for us and maybe a different journey somewhere else. It really sucks, really sucks. I had a couple days to get over it and let my emotions kind of just sink in. Like I was emotionally attached to this house, but I wasn't. And I really feel like I made the right decision in at the end. Ah, it just is such a tough pill to swallow when you have the house you want. You're in the final step and it doesn't go through. It's terrible. It sucks. It really does suck. Especially because a lot of you guys were so excited and I really feel like I let you guys down. I really do. And I don't... Man, I'm sorry guys. I, I tried my best here. I really did. The seller was just so... Felt like they were mean and it was kind of pushing me off in a way i mean the house kind of happened really quick too i didn't really expect it learned a lot through this process but um, i do want to say mike was absolutely exceptional during this process um, i'm going to show you guys a clip here right now um, this is actually a conversation that i was having with with um with mike about updates on the day that i had to make the decision it was so tough Man, the seller was just such a, ugh. I feel like they just had ego. I thank you guys so much for your support. Like that video, I was so excited to post and just to see all the support you guys gave me and excitement, it's just such a letdown for me and it hurts me so much. Especially cause like, I think I was gonna be getting a dog 
I just, I, I can't, I can't explain it. It's just a terrible feeling. It's a terrible feeling. I mean, comment down below if you guys ever got to the appraisal stage and it just um, fell apart. On a bright note, I am really excited that you guys are excited about finally meeting Casey and see what adventures that we go on. That was a really fun video to read all your guys' comments. You guys went off on that and um, I'm sure Casey, well I know Casey, um, was really excited to read those comments as well. She's like, I'm going to read them all. Um, but uh, we're going to have a fun video for you guys tomorrow or the next day. Um, we're going to finally do a Q&A that you guys have been um, probably anticipating for a while now here. So that's exciting. You busy beaver. What is up? What's up, dude? Yo, yo, yo. All right. You ready? Yeah. Cool. So, what happened? Well, uh, we arrived. <laughs> we were under contract. And, well, really, let's say it this way. We found the house. We fell in love with the house. Mm -hmm. We made an offer on the house. Mm -hmm. We got the offer accepted. Mm -hmm. We got through inspections. Mm -hmm. We negotiated. Yes, we, we did. We got past the inspection. We got the house appraised. Woo! But the house, unfortunately, did not appraise. Did not. Which means that the value that it was estimated for this house to be sold at came in about $70,000 lower than it should have been. Yes, which is a, it's a big no-no trying to sell a house, Yeah. but I wasn't willing to take the risk of what she wanted versus what I would get approved for a loan for. Correct, correct. So, so just so you understand the process a little bit, I know you got a lot of homeowners that are out there watching this, but you have some a lot of you are aspiring homeowners. Now, there's three parts of the, the real estate journey when you're buying a house that you need to know. There's three really negotiations that happen. You negotiate the price, then once you're under contract, the home inspection happens, and once the inspection report comes back, you're able to negotiate that. And I would say we won that negotiation. I'd say we won the negotiation. We it was a, it was a hard fought negotiation. Oh my God, it was terrible. <laughs> Like, yeah. remember how I explained in the last video, like I walked from the house and then they came back. So that yeah. was a win. And then we moved on to the appraisal. Right, and so the appraisal is that third hump that you gotta get past because um, you always hope that the house appraises at the contract value of what you have the house under contract for. Uh, hopefully it gets that. Hopefully at least it gets close to in that the range. Ballpark, yeah. In the ballpark at least. Um, but for it to be $70,000 off is a very big miss because here's what ends up happening. Now the seller has to decide, okay, are we gonna go down to whatever the appraiser said the value is for this house? Mm -hmm. uh, am I gonna stick my feet in the mud and the concrete and say, I'm not moving, it's gonna be this price or, or the highway? Um, or is there some kind of negotiation in the middle? And sometimes you may have seen this where, you know, if it appraises, if it appraises here, but we're, the seller wants it to be here, then we try to meet somewhere in the middle. Uh, and then, the, you know, the, the final one is just that you eat through the whole thing. It, it, it blows it just up. It blows up, which it and, uh, blew up. It blew up. It blew up. We tried. We really did. Um, my arm's getting sore. I'm going to switch. Let's, let's switch real quick. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, man. Maybe I do need to work <laughs> I'm telling out more. You, that's Holy why. cow. <laughs> Three minutes of holding that. I'm like, Jesus. I'm trying to get this guy this turns into like 20 pounds. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a stab in the heart for real, honestly, because especially since... I, I thought I had this house, and then for it to not to be at value, it's like then I have to come up with the the cash yeah. up front, which I didn't think the value was there in the home. And you guys can give me your guys' thoughts and opinions down below because we're gonna go back at home and my old, well, my new old home, which is my current home, which is still, still now my home. Still temporary though. Yeah. I want you guys' opinions on, on this house because we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna show them yeah. uh, the videos that I took okay. and uh, we can, now the other thing you know is to know is that like sometimes it is worth paying a little more than what the appraised value is and here's why i know some of you say oh don't do that that's crazy but here's the thing every single appraiser is going to come up with a different number for sure. that house we've got to got it the same house appraised five different times and they'll come up with five different numbers mm -hmm. because it's an art and a science so here's the thing if it was close and we say well you know what or if the, even the seller says you know what 
uh, you know, we're willing to pay, if we say, well, we're willing to pay $10,000 above the appraised value. If the seller's willing to expect, accept that, then it's okay, why? Because we're not trying to flip this house. This isn't an investment property. This is something we're gonna be in for five, 10 years or longer. You might hold this house for 20 years. The value of the home will go up eventually. That's the beauty of American real estate. It goes up over time. So if you're paying a little bit more than what the house might be worth, but it's worth it to you, then it makes sense. Same. But if we're talking 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars, I mean, you know what? Over the last two years, a lot of people were actually doing that. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know people who I, I listen. I wish I could afford that. I can only get a loan for like what it's appraised at. You know, I can't. Yeah. But it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. There were people because they the were thinking. The market's down that, right now. A little the market's bit. down a bit. But as long as those people who, who bought two years ago aren't trying to sell right now in this market, they're still fine. Because guess what? Over time, it's going to go back up anyway. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't suggest fifty, sixty, seventy thousand right. dollars over. But you know, a little bit over, if it's the right house, it could be the right opportunity. But we weren't. We, we weren't, weren't there. Um, we were going to do a second appraisal, but I decided not to do that just because of the fact I didn't want it to be at the value that I didn't think the house was at, especially yeah. with the, what the comps were and everything. So that we was just didn't like feel the, it was going to get there. That was the big risk. It's really unfortunate. Um, it's a great house. It was a great house. Great but, there, but there are great homes, still great opportunities that are mm -hmm. out there. We're in a great area. The venture's out there. It's out there. It just sucks. Yeah. It really sucks, especially my arms. Let's switch again. <laughs> it sucks just knowing like I had the house and I had posted the video, but we knew, like I, I tried to like affirm you guys that I still could lose this house, but we didn't really think that was yeah. gonna happen. We were very confident and ooh. Yeah. You, you probably thought he was just trying to lead you in. He's like, we could still lose the house. Maybe we could. We, well, no. we still have one more hump to get over and, and uh, you know, ended up being more of a wall than a hump. The problem wasn't the financing too. Like I've seen some of your comments, like my financing might not be there, but it's there. Yeah, no, um, no. We're good on that part. It was literally just the appraisal, which literally sucks. Yeah. There's no other humps after that, right? That's it. That's it. That's it. I mean, unless the house can't get insured and we would know that well before then, because you do have to get home insurance before you actually close. Yeah. But we would have known that and uh, it really sucks. Didn't really expect to be making this. I thought I was gonna be making, cause our, our moving was next week, right? Yeah. I was expecting on making that, getting all my affairs arranged. I um, didn't tell you this, but someone contacted me like the other day to give me their dog for free, a puppy. I was gonna be getting a dog too. Oh. Yeah. Doesn't that suck? That's. It's like a double whammy, like my gosh. So wait, do we have to tell the, the, the dog to stay where they are then? Dog I think they're trying home? to find a new owner, but they, they might be holding it for me. Um, it's a local friend. Yeah. Let's hope we get the dog. <laughs> get the house and the dog. That means yeah. we have to move quickly. Yeah. Right. Tell them we gotta go. We gotta go. We we're gotta move quickly. We're still Let's looking. Go. We're still looking for the right for the right home. But that's yeah. the update. The unfortunate um, update. If you want to contact Mike, he's been uh, great. I'll leave his contact information down below. And no, he is not paying me to say that. No. Not paying me to say that. No. Not paying me. So. I'm barely um, paying him any attention. Yeah. So. But thank you because no. you've been great. You're still great. It just didn't didn't work. Yeah. I appreciate it. And uh, listen, I, I appreciate your trust and your confidence, yeah, truly. I appreciate your um, hard work. And, you know, the, the key is, and, and I prepared you before we got there, knowing that there are humps. There, there's there's mm. these three things that we truly have to get past. So it wasn't that we didn't know that this was a possibility, but, you know, this isn't the end that we were hoping for. It's real estate. But helping you understand each step of the process so you can fully understand what could happen, that way you're prepared, is a big deal for me. I feel I knew more. I, I feel I know more for the next step or for the next. And that's house. what I was going to ask like, you. What do you, what do you feel like you learned out of this? A lot, like everything. Like I feel like I, I know every step now. I can possibly lose a house, so I don't get like over excited. Like I was invested, but I wasn't invested in the house, and I think that's a good point. Yes. Like I wasn't like attached. Where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna. No matter what. Yeah. Right. But I think also some of the things that you were trepidatious about that you kind of held back on, like should I, should I? Now that you've already done it, you're like, no big deal. Let's go. Right. So for the next one, I think we'll move a little differently as well. Yeah. It's gonna be great. Yeah, just be awesome. terrible video to make. But thanks for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Thanks. Absolutely. The house journey continues from here. I do want to go home real quick. Let's go sit down. I want to show you guys the house that I lost. All right. Well, here is the house. It really pains me to show you guys this. Like, just knowing this isn't going to be my house. The finishings are absolutely beautiful here in this house. Like the floor, the flooring is like the type of floor you guys see in million dollar, million dollar houses here. 
absolutely beautiful. I was actually gonna be buying the furniture as well. I think that it was like gonna be around like $10,000 talk about a steal that I wouldn't even have to do like furniture shopping. The bathrooms were all remodeled. They were stunning. They were stunning. This was a turn the key house. It was, it was gorgeous. <laughs> I hate looking at this video just because I know I'm not going to be able to, to see this again. Now I did think about buying a house and renovating it. Now at least I know what I kind of want. Um, and this is kind of like the standard that I'm gonna be looking forward to. Wait till you see the kitchen. This kitchen is beautiful. It does come with a formal dining room. I was actually gonna be turning the dining room into my office. The vaulted ceilings were beautiful. It, it really sucks. It really sucks to see this one go, but it was, it was the right decision just because the value wasn't there and um, the seller was just pretty stingy. But yeah, this dining room, I wasn't gonna be taking that dining room table. I don't need a dining room table. The chandelier, I was getting rid of that. Um, there's so much space, I think it was three, it was three bedroom, three bath, uh, 2,000 square feet. I'm changing that to an office. Quick look at the kitchen, <laughs> unbelievable. To the left here we have the garage, and then uh, our office. This is where I was gonna have, well this is a third bedroom. I was gonna have my gaming set up in here, and I think an extra bed that I was gonna buy. None of this furniture I wanted. The Peloton, I think, whatever you call it, was pretty expensive. The bedroom door closet was kind of small, but it was like the flooring for me. The flooring was beautiful, and wait till you see this. This bathroom, stunning. All done, all redone. The master bedroom bathroom is insane as well. Gold finishings, incredible. Um, this house is basically uh, an example of an over-improved house and thinking you're gonna get that value turned around really quick, which um, we didn't think was gonna be happening. The waterfall countertops, that is a must in my in my next house. See that view? Stunning. Came with a home security thing as well. Kitchen cabinets, gold finishings. It was seriously the waterfall countertops for me. Absolutely beautiful. Backsplash there. Ah. <sighs> gonna miss this house but there's something else out there for me this one bites just really bites really does bite a little bit small of a cabinet there um holy cow stunning lake view there was a pool out there there is a pool we were getting the, he the heater of the pool within the credits too Tiny laundry room, it did have storage. Designer shoes that they had. Yeah. I was gonna get that, uh, all the furniture here in the living room. Same with the TV. It's getting that bad boy as well. I was gonna put a picture of myself right there. <laughs> the master. The master. We'll get something. It's just not gonna be this. Her dresser, I think, was like $3,000 alone. <laughs> and uh, here we go. Into the master bathroom. Very stunning. Beautiful, I love how they did the tile on the walls. It was a two-seater bathtub, his and hers. Um, faucet, what do you do in the morning? Here's the bathroom. Had some storage in there as well. Mm. Walk-in closet was huge too. It was a stunning house. It was stunning, just over overvalued and over improved. Over improved for sure. And um, outside guys, we've got our lovely pool. The lake view. It was beautiful. Incredible. The pool, I don't even, I didn't even want a pool, but it was just kind of like an addition. Lost a good one. Lost a good one for sure. It just sucks. It really sucks, but I really do appreciate your guys' support and uh, being here for me. I, um, it's just the process, guys. I really was so sure about this one and, um, we're gonna continue this journey, continue looking for homes. I'm gonna bring you guys along the way. This is just a heartbreak. 
and it was kind of unbelievable. But thank you guys so much for all your support. I um, pretty much read all your guys' comments, especially on videos like this. So thanks so much. Um, we'll get right back on it once I see a home that I uh, truly felt like this one. And I will see you guys um, tomorrow. It sucks. It really sucks. But thanks for being here, guys. I, I really appreciate every single one of you.